Guys, guys. So, I think we're in the age where it is going to become a problem. Or at least you need an internet connection to do absolutely everything. Well, <laughs> that kind of is the case already. So, I don't know really making this video. It kind of makes a little bit of sense. But I definitely want to let you guys know something that we actually did see. So, if you are aware, we just... If you're aware, Mac OS Ventura actually just did come out there. We actually showed a nice little guide on a tutorial on how to create a bootable uh, USB, recovery USB for it, how to do a clean install for it. So we noticed something really interesting when you try to do a clean install for it that it does require something that even Windows requires at this point. And I wasn't sure this was going to do it. I did praise them even in the video that we did make about you having to have an internet connection to install um, an OS or and we show like a workaround around it. Hopefully that video is still viable too because I know they were trying to make caveats and jump through a lot of hurdles to avoid getting through um, getting to an OS without disconnecting your internet altogether. Um, and there's other things too. We have a nice video on the Windows 11. Um, it's, we have a nice video we talk about Windows 11 installing and how it re requires internet connection to be required here. So, and I just made the video. I just stopped it. We have the same background. We have the same computer right in the back there on this Mac OS Ventura uh, update. And I just did a clean install. Then I just noticed something because we always like to do this anyway. We don't like to connect to the internet until we fully go through the OS, especially that we see that in Windows installers anyway. But man, happened here too for Mac OS Ventura. I'm very, very, very disappointed in this one that I need to have internet connection. Now, uh, I have a nice 2017 uh, MacBook here, and I'm doing a clean install for it for the first time. Right, and it shows, it's asking how do you want to connect. Uh, let's actually go to a screen capture. I think that would be a little bit better to show in this point. Uh, let me get that. I need an adapter for an adapter. You know how it works, USB-C for every other USB. But let me go ahead and do it at least for HDMI too. So let me do my HDMI capture. Let me show you guys. I just want to make it a little bit cleaner, but uh, the HDMI actually didn't work through my USB-C port. I don't know, maybe because it's in the installer still, it's not going to do it. So I'm going to bring the camera. It's going to be a little bit sloppier, but you guys, I need to show you guys what's going on here. So we're in the Mac OS of Ventura installer here. And again, I apologize, guys. I wanted to be cleaner, but it's not capturing through my HDMI out. So through USB-C, I don't know. Okay, guys, so I just want to connect it. I just want to go into the install. I just want to go to the OS. I don't want to deal with anything else. Maybe I'm in the car. Maybe I'm at the airport. I don't know. Whatever. I want to hit the my computer is not connected to internet. So I try to click that. And it's showing this page, man. We've seen this on liquid spill repairs. We've seen this on stuff that needs firmware updates before. This is a very serious thing. I'm going to zoom in. I got to emphasize. Whoa. Right. It says a critical update is required for your Mac. Connect to a network to install this update. Your Mac can't be used until this update is installed. I cannot use my Mac until this internet update is installed. Man, I can't believe that I have to connect to internet to install a clean install of macOS Ventura. I can't believe that. This is a clean installation. Just watch the previous video. Again, I'm continuing from that last video for it. Just, just want to use my Mac here. Look, it's not really a big deal as in like you can just connect to it as well. Well, again, it's like Windows 11, how they kind of want you to use. Again, Windows 11 does it because they want you to connect account to it. Um, so you log in and then you hit in your internet connect. Uh, you hit your internet connect. You hit your Wi-Fi credentials to um, not just to update it, but to get to uh, to make sure the Microsoft account is there while you have it so you can use more apps or you can get the full use out of Windows. But this is interesting. I didn't think they were going to do this this soon. I thought they would have done this first and then Windows might have done that second. Okay, so I actually put it in there and now it actually is doing an update. Now, it's really strange because when I was doing the clean install through the bootable USB there, I connected to the internet. Uh, maybe that's part of the reason why it's not doing it. I'm not too sure. Maybe that's probably what it is. Maybe because I didn't connect it at first. It was going to do that first. It's going to do hardware checks. It's going to do other things on there. Do an update first, and then it's going to go ahead and go through. But still, if you have the recovery USB, it looks like you still have to connect to the server to install an OS, which still blows my mind. But let's go ahead. I'm going to wait a little bit here. I'm going to let it finish doing it. It says like a minute uh, loading. Hopefully, that's just it is really just an update that it needs, but it shouldn't need to have an update with the installer because the installer is a full installer that we had anyway so it's really interesting really curious to see how this is going to work then so is that going to be for each 
one is so if I do command R, if I hold command R and I go through the internet recovery mode on this one for the first time, is it going to install the update first or is it just because I did it through a bootable installer? It's really interesting to see. I'm going to be doing that more in the future. I'll test a little bit more, but still. So it's really interesting to see. I'm going to let this one go. I'm going to see how uh, it's going to go. But I don't know why you would need to have an update if I already connected to the internet for the first time. Why would I need another update? Wouldn't it know that I'm connected to the internet for the first time? Even if you use like a bootable or something and you're still connecting to the internet. I know on um, Monterey, when we tried it a few times, we, we had a bootable installer for that and you would have to connect to the internet uh, to get it actually to load, to load uh, Monterey out of the way. Otherwise, it would be stuck or give an error and says it needs to connect to the internet to complete. Okay, so it actually did finish here and it's going through. Now it's on the data and privacy one. I'm going to go ahead and see if I have to do anything else to log in here for the first. I'm not going to put any account credentials. I just want to do a local user. I want to see if that's going to go. Um, because that's really important, especially if you're a shopper, if you're trying to do lots of installs for it, and it gives a problem. Okay, this looks to be, obviously, you have to have a password for the first time you ever install a Mac, which is, eh, that's fine. I don't mind that. You can always remove it after, but let me see. Okay, guys, so I went through all the other steps. I was successful getting in without creating um, an online account. Oh, please, please, please don't make us create online accounts or Apple IDs or require Apple IDs to ever install no ones. Please, please, please. I don't want to be the reason why we get away from Windows is to avoid those things and definitely want to make sure that we don't have to ever do that ever. Please, I hope this was just a one time fluke. Maybe the later builds are going to be a little bit better for it that you don't have to have an internet connection to be required. Maybe when you do an upgrade, it will be fine if you're going through the command R uh, through the recovery mode. If you're going to be doing that, hopefully. But it looks to be good. I didn't put any other accounts, and I have a local account here, which is fantastic. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, anyways, guys, Friday now. So, well, he's making this video. It's Friday. But um, hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like. Um, comment if you guys have an upgrade, if you guys had the same thing we did if you're doing through an upgrade or if you're doing it through a clean install through our video that we did before. Let us know down below. I'm really, really curious to see if this is just a one-time thing or if this is a clean install through um, an installer, if it's just a one-time thing, or if this, who knows what's going on. Please let us know if you guys have this problem down below. Uh, anyway, so I hope you guys were watching. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more content. Uh, we do lots of macOS installs for here. macOS uh, Ventura, we actually just made a macOS Ventura video on how to make like a recovery USB and how to upgrade it or do a clean install. If you're interested in that, definitely go ahead, check that out. Um, we can make lots more videos talking about this as well. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys are interested, uh, go ahead, check those out because they're pretty cool videos. It's good just knowledge basis to just know, uh, especially if you have a problem with that. It avoids a lot of uh, pitfalls and you can do a lot of clean installs. You can solve a lot of problems that way too. Um, again, this is a very, very new OS. Uh, I, we always recommend if you wait maybe a few months to always upgrade. We always like to recommend that just to see if there's any bugs, any fixes. I know there's usually a day one patch that usually comes out or even within a few weeks or a month, there's going to be one very quickly that usually comes out just to patch it over. You know, the beta, obviously there's a few betas that, that they go through, but we always recommend staying on the older OSs until there's a few updates going through. So just, just to iron out all the kinks. I know some people like to be the latest and greatest, but if you're always risking your data, if there's stuff on here that's important, you always want to make sure that stuff is going to work out or be compatible uh, within the first place. So um, interesting thing just to show you guys anyway in the first place, a little bit of ramble too. But hope you guys are watching again. Thanks a lot. For, see you guys next video. Take care, guys. Bye.